Thomas and the Picture Show. It was springtime and summer was almost on the island of Sodor. Everyone was very happy. <laughs> Every season, a photographer would arrive on the island of Sodor to photograph the engines for a seasonal catalog. Every season, all the engines should hope to get their picture taken in the catalog. But unfortunately, some do not. <laughs> and neither do others. <laughs> but some engines are a lot more fortunate than others. And they do get their picture taken in the catalog. And those engines are very lucky engines indeed. <laughs> One day, Sir Topham had arrived with news about the catalog and the photographs to be taken. This summer... The photographer will be coming early to take the photographs, said Sir Topham Hatt. You will all be repainted and you must all look your best and stay bright and shiny, James. <laughs> the other engines laughed at Sir Topham Hatt's joke. You will each be all in separate pictures and we will all have one together. They will be in a display of photographs in a picture show. The picture show will be held at Homestead Hollow Branch Lines. And Thomas, I would like for you to pick up the photographer. And Henry to collect the camera. He has left the camera at Brandon Docks. You must head there right away. Yes, sir, said Henry. I will collect the camera with no trouble at all. I promise. That's a good engine. And Thomas, Please, don't forget to tell Toby I really hate that he doesn't sleep at Tidmouth anymore. Even though he doesn't sleep at Tidmouth, he is still a part of our team. There will be lots of other photographs of the other engines, so do be kind. Yes, sir, said Thomas. I can do that. Thomas steamed onto the turntable. He spun around quickly. He huffed away as quickly as he could. Thomas puffed through the stations, looking for the photographer. While well, Henry was at Brandon Docks, waiting for the camera to arrive. At last, Thomas met the photographer at the seaside. <laughs> the photographer lived near the seaside. He enjoyed taking beautiful pictures of the sea and the beach. <laughs> it is continuously beautiful at the seaside. Hello, I'm Thomas, said Thomas. I'm here to take you to meet Henry to collect your camera to take pictures of all the engines. For the picture show. <laughs> the, the photographer climbed on board. <laughs> Henry was waiting at the junction with the camera when Thomas arrived. <laughs> Hello, Henry. Where is the camera? Right back there, he steamed. Where is the photographer? Right in my cab, said Thomas. The photographer collected his camera. He took a picture of Henry. Please, said Thomas, may I have a picture too? Not now, said the photographer. Will you please take me to Gordon's Hill? I know Gordon the Big Blue Express Engine should be somewhere around there by now. Oh, all right, said Thomas. He was sad. But Henry was very happy, and he chortled away. <laughs> to Gordon Hill we go, steamed Thomas. <laughs> Thomas steamed up Gordon's Hill. When he arrived at the top, he was excited. He could see that Gordon was nowhere to be found. Yes, he whistled. Now the photographer shall have to take a picture of me. But he was wrong. <laughs> Up the other side of the hill puffed Ryan. <laughs> Bother, steamed Thomas. He was very upset. I'm sorry, Thomas, said the photographer. I shall take a picture of Ryan instead. Thomas wanted to have a picture of himself more than ever. But the photographer had his heart set on a picture of Ryan instead. The photographer tried to take a picture of Ryan, but there was a problem. I am having trouble getting my camera to focus, 
said the photographer. He was in a hurry to take a picture of Ryan. Thomas wished steam all over the camera, trying to help. But that only made it worse. <laughs> the camera was now wet due to the evaporation from the steam in Thomas's wheels and boiler. Now you have wet my camera, said the photographer. You shall take me back to get another. Thomas realized he had made a mistake, and he went back to get another one. Thomas and the photographer arrived back at Brendam Docks. They saw a new camera on the flatbed, and Thomas puffed away. This time, the photographer was able to take a picture of Ryan. But only now, Sir Topham Hat was there. <laughs> Thomas, since you can clearly not be trusted to take the photographer around, Ryan will take the photographer, <laughs> and you will take the children to the picture show. I hope you can handle that job instead, he scolded. I'm sure I can, sir, said Thomas. So Thomas and Ryan swapped jobs. And Thomas puffed quickly away. <laughs> I won't let you down, sir, he steamed. I most certainly hope not, boomed the fat controller. So Thomas puffed along with the children. But he had forgotten all about telling Toby. Thomas met up with Ryan and the photographers again, this time only at Homestead Hollow Sheds. All right now, said Ryan and the photographer. One, two, three. The camera flashed, just as Thomas bumped into the photo. Thomas, stay out of the photograph, said Ryan. This isn't even your job, said Sophia. Go away, said Giselle. You aren't wanted here, said Elizabeth, the steam engine. Thomas puffed off. Fine, he said. <laughs> At Homestead Hollow Sheds, all the engines were there. <laughs> they were looking spick and span, and not a spot of dust or dirtiness on them. It was very hard to keep this clean, said James as he boasted to Gordon. Such nonsense, steamed Gordon. Just then, Thomas arrived. <laughs> Everyone else was waiting for him. Sir Topham Hat was cross. Where is Toby? You forgot to tell him. He's not here. Thomas gulped. I'm sorry, sir. I forgot. Then you had better go and find him, boomed Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> Thomas found Toby working in the yard. Toby, he said, we're taking pictures at Homestead Hollow Sheds. You must be there right away. All right, said Toby. I'll be there soon. Thomas puffed in with Toby. <laughs> and the photographer kindly showed off his photographs. And there was even a picture of Thomas. Silver Streak Thomas. <laughs> and the photographer even took a picture of Sir Topham Hat and his engines. <laughs> and that night, Sir Topham Hat and the other engines all laughed at their photo faces. <laughs> Thomas was happiest of all. <laughs>